had everything. I was growing in stature in my game for my clubs and my performances for England uh, were fantastic. Um, I had the stature, had the, the character, the charisma, but obviously I didn't have a huge PR machine behind me. And, you know, I, I was, I, I still believe that I was the wrong colour. I think if I was white, I think definitely my chances of being captain would have been enhanced. You know, David was an excellent captain, but I'm saying what I'm saying is that my chances would have been enhanced if I was white. When you look at it, I, I was, you know, I got kind of demoted, or, or, or all, of, all of a sudden I was kind of positioned as as um, vice captain, and then you say, okay, all right, and as time goes on, uh, your football gets better and you get renowned around the world and the performances for England and club um, are excellent and you conduct yourself in a proper way and then all of a sudden you get you get to the situation I, I said in the book that Michael Owens slip, slips in and starts to be captain in front of me for no reason at all Michael was excellent centre forward but no way he's the captain but then again it makes me think well maybe they need to look at that situation or maybe they were happy maybe they didn't want me to be captain because it it didn't it didn't tick their boxes M me as a as who I am a black full a black you know football player um, didn't fit their criteria at that time maybe playing wise but definitely not as a captain wise anyway but as I said before if I was white I would be definitely my chances of being captain full-time would have been enhanced. For how long? Probably for, you know, for 10 years. As your career developed, there were always suggestions that you were gay. Mm. People will ask, is that true? Uh, no. <laughs> um, I did not know where, where it started. Uh, as I said before, people are very lazy um, when it comes to finding out things about people. Very lazy. It's the era of lazy people when it comes to media and, um, and just people just trying to, not allowing you to grow as, as a human being. Not a footballer, as a human being. Grow as a human being. Not recognising that your life I'm not going to conform to a football type of life uh, because that's my sport, but I'm also looking at life. You know, football finishes at, you know, 35, 40 some players. Um, I'm not going to cram in everything into 10 years. I'm not going to get married and have two kids before I'm 30. Not going to happen because I'm looking more for the future. You know, now I have a family and kids and things like that and, and, and married and, and you know, happy in, in that scenario because I'm looking more at life. I'm not looking at football when it comes to my personal life. And if they actually spent time to actually find out about me, then they will see who I am. If it's so bad when it's not true homophobic abuse, yeah. can you understand and sympathise with people, footballers, who are gay and don't come out? I think if that happened, I think it's probably tough. I know some guys have come out afterwards, after the career. Um, I, don't, I still don't think it's ready for anyone to come out while, whilst they're playing. I don't think football society is ready for it. I think they say they are. I mean, a lot of the... People love it, but I don't think, I really don't think they're ready yet. I don't think the crowds are ready. I don't think they're ready. I don't think society is ready in football. I think the crowd are ready for in other sports. You know, tennis and rugby or whatever. I think they're ready, but I don't think they're ready in, in football. Um, not yet, anyway.